What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So you might be wondering why I'm starting this video off in the middle of my living room right now. It is a Sunday uh, football morning. However, I just got home from the gym and I met FedEx right at the door and I got some exciting stuff here in the mail from Advan Black. So uh, I couldn't wait any longer. So we got to open this stuff up. So as you see, we got a big box right here. Leave your comments down below on what you think this stuff is. So we got four boxes total. So let's get this stuff opened up. All right, let's see what I got. Whew, I don't even want to take it out yet. So we're going to wait. But that is a chopped tour pack. I don't want to take it out yet until I'm ready to assemble this thing. Move over here. I have a tour pack liner, a backrest pad, and then the tour pack mount. So I don't want to go crazy opening this up until I'm ready to actually go ahead and start to install everything. So I'll pick it up here a little bit later. Three hours later. All right, so as you can see, I got all the boxes laid out here in the garage. So I'm going to start one by one and unboxing them. So in this first box, we have the mounting bracket or quick detach bracket. So we got that. Moving right to this other box, we have the backrest. Which for the backrest, I went with the diamond stitched in all black, which should match my saddleman seat fairly well. And in this bag is the actual tour pack liner, which I'll just show you a brief overview. As you can see, it is all blacked out, which this will be nice because if I throw a pair of glasses or anything in there, it'll keep them from getting scratched up. And for the box that we've all been waiting for here, I feel like a kid on Christmas Day. So I'm going to keep it like this. Wow. And there it is. Turn this around so you guys can see the goodies. So I guess regardless, this comes with a standard backrest, but obviously we got the upgraded one. Assuming these are the keys. Yep, keys and the hardware to mount the tour pack to the rack. Some stickers. All right, so that's everything unboxed. Let me uh, skip to make sure I know what I'm doing here. And then uh, I'll show you guys how this goes together. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear me because it is absolutely pouring outside. But first thing I'm gonna do, and this is how I think I'm gonna attack this, is get this uh, mounting plate onto the bike. And then from there, just kind of set the tour pack up top. And then that way I can get my screws. So something else I'm gonna do quick, I'm just going to throw a towel up underneath there. That way when I'm reaching underneath to try to get the nuts and screw started. That way if I have a hiccup, I'm not going to scratch my rear fender. Alright, so right now I have the plate on the inside. And I have the screw sticking out of the bottom. So I didn't really look up instructions for this. But we kind of assume the washers are going on the bottom. Because that's where the, the bigger slot is. Okay, so at this point we're going to try to put the backrest on here. So these are just three little acorn nuts. So using a 10 millimeter socket, I'm just going to go ahead and snug them up. Yeah. Alright, so real quick, when I put the backrest on, the backrest didn't come with washers. And it looked like the nuts were going to get pulled through the holes. So I just found three washers that I had laying around and just added them between the top of the tour pack and the nut just to make sure those nuts wouldn't pull through. So that's something you guys might have to do or check out. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and tighten up those four bolts on that mounting plate. All right, so those four mounting bolts are all tightened up. So now we can work on putting the liner on the inside real quick. Just give you guys a little sneak peek. You can see 
backrest goes pretty dang well with that saddle move. So real quick, my only gripe about this uh, tool pack is the paint so far looks perfectly color matched. However, around the edges, I'll show you up close. Right there, and even along the tour pack itself, I think that could have been a little better quality, as you can see up in here. Now I can say whatever I want because I bought this tour pack with my own money, so this is not a sponsored video for Advan Black. Uh, one of the reasons why I went with Advan Black over, say, Hogwarts is the fact that they did have this in stock, so I didn't have to wait four to six weeks. Um, I heard a lot of good stuff about Advan Black's quality, and I know Hogwarts has some quality stuff, but that's the only knack that I can find so far that I think the quality could have been a little bit better on, because you are paying over a thousand dollars for this. Now, there is a reason why Harley Davidson, if you were to buy their tour pack uh, color match from the factory, there's a reason why that's like close to two grand. And like right there, you can see that little imperfection. Uh, that's my only gripe of this so far, but we'll see in due time how it holds up. But obviously, if you buy something from Harley's factory that's color matched, it's gonna be the uh, quality of paint that, that we're all known to love and respect. But uh, yeah, so far so good. I like the way it looks. So let's go get that liner installed. What is up guys? Welcome back. It is the next day. I had to stop because of the weather delay last night. Um, it started pouring way too hard and I felt like I was yelling to kind of talk to you guys on the camera. And uh, it was getting a little late. So uh, the only thing we have left to do right now is to install our velcro here for our tour pack liner on the top and the bottom and then once that's done all we got to do is i just want to clean off the tour pack and put a fresh coat of wax on it uh just to uh, make sure it's good to go so without further ado let's uh keep rolling here um i'm thinking i'm gonna put a bead or put this around the edges and then probably some in the sides of the top here uh, this looks like it just sticks on and then it's got the grippy part which would then just grab a hold of this. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll just go around and clean it with some alcohol first before I start sticking this on. So let's uh, time lapse that and let's keep it rolling. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I just got done installing the liner on the inside and uh, my battery died, but I took the time to clean up the tour pack and wax it all up. So let's go check this thing out.
Alrighty guys, so that was a brief walk around of my new Advan Black Chop Tour Pack in the Snake Venom color. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys like the Tour Pack look. Um, obviously I think the Razor Tour Pack obviously always looks the best on any bike, any color slash format or whatever you want to call it. But uh, for what they all cost, I think you get the best bang for your buck with a Chop Tour Pack because like I said they are relatively all close in price I think the King looks too granddaddy for my for my preference like as much as I love the Razor I think the Chopped is where it's at for my everyday um, riding as far as like going to get stuff trying to pack stuff and perhaps in the future this can replace my Rick Rack so then that way when I go on a trip I can just pack the Tour Pack and bring my Saddleman bag along with me but like I said, let me know down in the comments how you guys like it and if you guys have ever gotten anything from Advan Black and let me know also down in the comments if you got something from Advan Black, let me know how their products hold up over a prolonged period of time. I'd be very curious to see. And Advan Black, if you guys are watching, uh, your product gets a thumbs up from me other than that one little criticism I had around the edges where it looked like it was unpainted slash like not gone over with a clear coat but other than that overall so far I'm very happy with it I can't wait to put it to the test and get to use this thing so maybe you'll see a future video on it I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always I'll have the links to the tour pack that I bought down below in the description and you can check out their other razor tour packs or the king tour pack but make sure to smash that like button comment subscribe hit that bell icon if you guys already haven't done so that way you guys get notified when i post new videos like this one and also go follow me on instagram because i post a heck of a lot more day to day on instagram than i do on youtube so down below in the corner of the screen go follow me on instagram moto head kyle because like I said, I am a lot more active on there and I can also engage with you guys better on Instagram. But make sure to ride safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.